purchased this a few years ago from Amazon and I've been so impressed with it I decided to share it with my YouTube audience or if you happen to look up snow cone machine or Hawaiian ice because this works. At one time I purchased a plastic model that you see a lot of. I don't know, it was about thirty some dollars. This currently is sixty seven dollars but I've had it for two years. I've had no problem. It has uh, an on off switch here but it has a safety mechanism. This cannot, the blade cannot run until this closes and as soon as it closes you'll hear it run. The motor's not real loud. I'm sure you can hear me over it. And then what I do is I take a plastic glass a couple days in advance, or I actually have a few of these in my freezer at all times, fill it just a little above half full, or you can, you can play around with it and uh, you know do different amounts so you get it just right. Freeze that, and then you can make this the ultimate ice cream and ice treat. So I'll show you how I just made this. I did this a second time because my camera was a little bit too low. So check it out. I'll show you how it runs. And hopefully maybe on some 90 degree day you'll have one too. Because I think it was well worth the money spent. For kids, grandkids, parties, there's all kinds of uses you can use this, this ice for. And it's not crunchy. It's like snow. It sh actually shaves the ice. As I've learned to take a plastic cup, fill it about halfway, maybe a little bit more, and freeze it. Let me get one of those. So this is full about up to here. Now I need to thaw it just a little bit so, so it'll come out of the cup. Okay, once that pops out, you want to put the larger diameter in first. And then we're going to let that sit there for just a little bit because we want that edge to be smooth with the cutting knife. There will be some water come out this. You can just dump it out right before you start. And then it will make a little bit of noise when you're running it. That's because you're grinding the ice. But seriously, it comes out like snow. syrups, zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs. This is strawberry watermelon. It's a very thick so that's my snow cone. You can get these in multiple flavors. You can use any flavor you want. You could puree fruits for that matter. And then as you eat through the snow cone layer when you get down to that creamy ice cream part and the ice and the flavoring, 
It's delicious. There you have it. Literally, I can make a snowball out of it instantly. It actually is it's just like snow, it's smooth. So in all seriousness, it does an excellent job. I mentioned I had uh, purchased one of the plastic ones a few years ago, and it made little chips of ice that were hard. This is very soft, and when you mix it with a little bit of ice cream treat in the middle, you can't beat it for a summer break. I hope the video on the ice crusher was informative and maybe helped you make a decision as far as maybe spending just a few dollars more and getting something a little better and not spending hundreds of dollars. I've seen them for hundreds of dollars too. This does the job, it's reasonably priced, and I love a good snow cone, especially when it's low fat. This is Boiler Dan 1 signing out with my motto of I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're interested. I'll have a variety of things on this channel. Just things that I do that I found out, you know what, I really like this. I'm retired. This continues my creative abilities or attempts anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching.